everybody. So this is the Happy Dad Variety Pack. I've done a review on each one. At the end of this, I will link to all those. But I thought I would just do an overview of which ones or what one I think I like the best versus which one is the worst. So uh, the first one, these are all 5% ABV. Uh, the first one is Lemon Lime. The second one is Pineapple. The third one is Wild Cherry. And then the fourth one is Watermelon. I'm going to move these cans out of the way uh, just because that's what I normally do. So um, I have had a 12 pack of this before. As far as I know, you can only get them in a 12 pack. <clears throat> you get three of each flavor um, and there's four different flavors. So that's 12. Uh, in, I don't remember, I had this down in Florida. That was the first time I've, I, I saw it or seen it. Um, and then when I got back up here, I didn't see it. And I just noticed I think about a month ago, uh, I started seeing posts of this arriving in Michigan, or at least lower Michigan. Uh, so I did pick the 12 pack up yesterday, and it was $19.99 a 12 pack. I do think that's a little bit expensive, but if you picked it up, let me know in the comments below how much you paid for yours. Um, again, I don't remember what I paid for it down in Florida, uh, but... It is what it is. So for the color, they all look, I'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of time. Most of the time you're gonna drink these out of a can. It doesn't matter. It's just, this is what I like to look at. Uh, but for the color, I think for the most part, they're all pretty similar. Usually if there's some citrus in there, as far as I'm gonna say, most of the time when it's citrus based, there is a faint, like ghost white color that comes through. Um, and now looking at these, eh, it could be the light. I, th I, I thought this watermelon had a little bit more, but really looking, eh, it does. At least in my opinion, for the color, they're all fine. It's just, I think there's a little bit more of that ghost white color in the watermelon versus the other ones. The other ones are all pretty much identical. But for the smell, it's going to be the same. Now, I think the watermelon or the wild cherry is overdone versus the other ones. I, I think it's too much. Uh, natural flavoring, artificial flavoring, whatever they're using, they should have used less. But the lemon lime, um, it is almost like a Sprite now that it's kind of warmed up and had time to open up. Um, I think that lemon lime comes out a little bit more uh, versus in my review, taking it directly out of the fridge. I thought that lime came through. There is some sweetness in there a little bit, but it's, a, I would say, a Sprite, pretty much a Sprite. So this is the pineapple. I think the pineapple is done well. Um, you get that, I, I would say, authentic pineapple smell, like cutting a pineapple open, a juicy ripe pineapple, and smelling uh, the meat part. That's kind of what you're getting here. Yeah, it smells good. Then, yeah, the cherry, it, it's just different. It, it's more in your face where the other ones are light. Even the watermelon. The watermelon's there. It's a little bit more tart, sour watermelon. Um, not. I don't want you to think of a pure candy, like sour watermelon, because it is watered down some. But, yeah, I, I don't think the wild cherry works in this situation along with all the other smells. That one I would put in last place and then the pineapple I would put in first. Um, the the um, lemon lime would be uh, second and then the watermelon would be third. Let's go ahead and taste. It's So the lemon lime's not bad. It's just, it's almost too watered down and too sweet. Like you still get that lemon lime. I think you get more of that lime than anything, but there's not that zest, that bitterness to help cut uh, the sweetness in there. And I think that takes over too much. For the pineapple, uh, 
The pineapple, I think it's, it, it's, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but out of these, it's the best, like, flow, if that's what you want to call it. It's there. There's a touch of bitterness in there that I feel it's not overly sweet. You're getting that pineapple. It's right versus these other ones. For the cherry, I it's overdone. It's almost like a nuttiness that's coming off in there. Too much, like a Luden's cough drop times 50. Um, is it drinkable? Sure. For the watermelon, for the watermelon, I, again, maybe a little bit of tartness. Now, after drinking it versus the cherry, it's almost like a watermelon that's going bad. <laughs> like it's still watermelon, but it's on the downside. Uh, but it still works. So as far as the tastes, I would have to go with um, the pineapple number one, lemon lime number two, watermelon number three, and then the wild cherry number four. So in this case, pineapple is the winner cherry loses every time in my opinion um i was gonna write them down on untapped just to see what the overall scores were versus what mine were um but i didn't so if you want to go check that out you can look each one of them up uh just to see is this worth buying the 12 pack sure um the cost um I think it's a little high for what you're getting because I think most people aren't going to like that cherry and then half of the people don't like watermelon so they're not going to like this so you're stuck with two. In that case I would say no but for me um, I would buy another 12 pack. Uh, even at 20 bucks, they're easy drinking. Um, we do, I'm not going to get too far into it. Um, Outside the Ales has a whole bunch of seltzers. I would rather drink these than those. But that's just me. You're going to have to try them out for yourself. But yeah, if you don't like wild cherry, it is overdone. Um, if you don't like watermelon, I would not buy it and all the rest I would. Now, I said in one of the videos in the Wild Cherry, I was gonna mix these. So this is the lemonade, or lemonade, um, the lemon lime, almost like a limeade, just to try it. I think that's better. It almost cuts, it almost cuts that Wild Cherry, that overdone, in the lime actually comes out a little bit more. Now, obviously, I didn't pour it all in there. It's still, I don't want to say it's alcohol, but combining those, would I say it's better than the pineapple? No. Um, is it better than just the lemon lime? No. Is it better than the wild cherry? Yes. Could I waste two or could I waste them all and put them together to drink it? I think I would rather just chug the wild cherry and be done with it. But it does cut it. But it just leaves something there. Like that nuttiness is still there. Um, that, yeah, I would just chug uh, the wild cherry. But yeah, if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.